We are putting data together to inform policymakers into local monitoring of SDG 11. So in a nutshell, we are trying to use open geospatial and particularly Earth observation data, data which are continuously and routinely generated to bring these important aspects of the urban poor to the global agenda and to document living conditions, to document vulnerabilities on the ground and promote to be used for evidence-based decision-making. Given the extreme data scarcity that exists in several um, sub-Saharan countries, what I mostly do is I make use of uh, Earth observation data, satellite data, and try to link them with uh, various degrees of deprivation, uh, both biophysical, but also when, it, when pertinent to health or socioeconomic uh, conditions. The, the tools are not focused on slums, but yeah, okay, no, no doubt that uh, the fresh water, if, uh, if we don't take care of fresh water at national level uh, or regional level, uh, this, uh, the, the quality of this water will arrive uh, quite bad or will not arrive uh, uh, to slums or to the big cities or whatever. No? So um, at the end, um, uh, the tool can provide historic data and present uh, information also about these, these resources that are so important for the city and for everybody in general. The way we define our problem will shape the way we approach it. And not only this, it will also influence the way we define success. So if we have a limited fear on slums, as we had in the past, we will have limited approaches and we will have limited evaluations of success.